rolling. One, two, three, test. It's good for the sound. Let's do this. Ancestors is not about unfolding the mission we've put out there for you. It's you, your curiosity, that is driving the show. Because in Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, there is no mini-map, and there is no map at all. It was important for us that the player is actually, again, the, the one mapping, the one discovering, the one exploring, and not us helping through that journey, through that Odyssey, a lot. And you'll have to really actually go down into your uh, instinct in order to play the game. The more you're curious and you test and you experiment, you'll see the game opening up for you. <laughs> I get surprised by the game every single time I play because I'm trying new stuff. It's a game, there's still boundaries, right? But you can go pretty much anywhere you want. We've created a world for you, right? And then you're kind of like the co-creators of the experience. There's like, everything is kind of like there, and it's up to you to be curious and, and, and find what's in it. Each time I do an action, I'm asking some energy. And the more action I do quickly, eventually that energy is spent, and I, it will tap into the stamina of the character. You have to eat, drink, and sleep. Those are the three core elements uh, for your survival. And once you sleep for at least four hours, we'll update your daily regimen, and that will, you will gain back your stamina and your energy. Well, throughout the game, you'll have different encounters with, uh, with dangers and uh, you can get attacked, they can attack each other, which is good for you, by the way. If you're being pursued by a leopard and then he's, he sees an antelope, maybe the lunch of the leopard is the antelope and not you. And uh, be careful on what you put in your mouth, I would say, in general. You may be uh, poisoned. Uh, water is kind of good in general, but food you never know. And you can die by falling, be careful in some of the rivers. There's, you know, you can slip, for example. So there's a lot of things that can kill you. But we will never give you the solution. It's up to you to experiment and eventually to go through bad times in order to have good time, I would say. And like Carl Sagan said, right? Extinction is the norm. Survival is the exception. So you're going to play really in an environment that wants to kill you. There's really dangers around every corner.